The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for the morning of July 27th, 2021. We're keeping with the elevated rain chances for today, but we mostly dry out to end the work week. Unfortunately, it will be very hot as heat index values will reach advisory levels today and possibly each day through Sunday. Here's what I have for you in today's video. We are starting off this morning with some patchy fog over portions of North Alabama, while we have some clouds over a good portion of Central Alabama as of 550 this morning. Under some of those clouds, a few showers are falling over the eastern portions of Shelby County and into the southern parts of Talladega County and the extreme northern parts of Coosa County. Temperatures were in the 70s across the area as of the 5 a.m. roundup. A few were tied at 77 degrees as the warm spots, while Haleyville was the cool spot at 71 degrees. Birmingham was at 76 degrees. Now diving into the 06Z run of the GFS starting off with today, valid at 4 p.m. Today will be an active day, mainly during the late morning through the afternoon and evening hours, as a stalled front just to our north will eventually push southward while losing definition. Numerous showers and storms will be likely today by the afternoon, especially for locations along and south of I-59. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the mid-90s. National Weather Service Birmingham has issued a heat advisory for much of central Alabama today until 7 p.m. this evening. National Weather Service Huntsville has done the same for the western counties in North Alabama. Most of central Alabama will get a decent break from any rainfall on Wednesday through Friday, as we'll see a trend downwards in afternoon convection. Tropical moisture may keep the extreme southern portions of the area active on Wednesday with scattered to numerous showers and storms, but the rest of the area will only see a slight chance of a few isolated showers. Highs will be in the lower to mid-90s. Thursday and Friday will be mainly dry and hot, as skies will be mostly sunny on both days. There will only be a very small chance of a few isolated afternoon showers or storms, with highs reaching the mid to upper 90s for much of the area. Some locations may see heat index values above 105 degrees, which would allow for heat advisories to be issued. Please use caution if having to be outdoors for any extended period of time. Drink plenty of cold fluids and take plenty of breaks. A cold front will work its way into the northern parts of the area on Saturday and will stall out before reaching the I-20 corridor, bringing an increase to the scattered shower and thunderstorm chances for both days. Saturday's activity doesn't look to start until the early evening hours, while Sunday's looks to fire up by mid to late morning. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the mid 90s. And now taking a look at the tropics, a weak area of low pressure is located just inland along the Georgia coastline. Shower and thunderstorm activity associated with the low has increased somewhat, but remains disorganized. This system is expected to meander along the coastline of Georgia and South Carolina over the next day or so, and a small chance of development remains if the system moves back offshore over the warm Gulf Stream waters. Locally heavy rainfall remains possible over portions of Georgia and South Carolina today. The rest of the Atlantic Basin remains quiet. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. We're on a one-a-day video schedule this week as James and Bill are both out on vacation. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless.